going to tell you a little bit about the inspiration behind instant gratification. So I started off as a graffiti writer almost about 18 years ago. Started off as a kid, just like anyone else, you know, tagging, bombing. I grew up in Miami, Florida. It wasn't about around 2013, uh, once I did a street art throwdown, that I kind of, you know, that show really took me to a new level within myself where I was just like, you know what? Maybe I do want to be just more than a graffiti artist. Maybe I should you know, go outside of that box and just, you know, try new things. So about three years ago, I started taking Polaroids uh, globally as I was painting my murals and my pieces. And I just kind of wanted to document my growth as an artist and just kind of the evolution of myself. And then I just found that it was time. I'm like, you know what? It's time to like finally debut like these hundreds and hundreds of Polaroids that I've been just accumulating. And just to show people that not everything is instant. Just because these Polaroids were instant to me at the time, I realized over three years that it, it took it took time for me to find myself as the artist that I am today, and that's what these paintings represent. They are also a release of my new series called Graffiti and Flowers. So Graffiti and Flowers started three years ago when I started seeing these three girls. They always came in pairs of three, which I believe is like a special number. Mind, body, spirit, so many things behind it. And then I saw these flowers just because, you know, a flower bloomed. And I think that it was kind of like a transformation. It like represents a transformation for me, transforming into like a higher version of myself as an artist. Sweet dreams are 